started my day off with the bath because I deserve it. Then my dad and I went to Coney Island. I got chili cheese fries and he grabbed himself some breakfast. It was a good time. On my way to the coffee shop, I passed by the Ford plant strike. They are just asking for better wages. Um, all in all, I really hope that they get what they're asking for. It's going on day, I think, number 14 now at this point that they've been striking. So praying for them all in all. All right, y'all. So what's up? I'm currently at Bon Divan, and I just finished a coffee from earlier. It was delicious. I actually think I already need part two. I submitted my entry for my benefits and also my unemployment, and so I think all of that will kick in very soon. Um, I'm very optimistic and hopeful, though. I was on LinkedIn a little while ago looking at different positions, and there's a lot open in the market for my role specifically, but I need to just buckle down and figure out what I want to do. Like, do I want to go back into what I was doing, low code, no code, or do I want to get a Salesforce admin certificate or Google Data Analytics certificate or go full throttle on social media? So I have many different options for you to guide. The resume is heavy, but I'm going to take the rest of this week to complete my resume, update my LinkedIn, and yeah, I'll bring y'all on for the journey. I know I look crazy, but like, I'm just trying to give y'all raw content, tell you how I feel throughout the days, and if it resonates with you, I'm happy. Like, uh, I'm just trying to share this journey because I'm sick of the fake and phoniness that I get from people online, and I'd rather just be my most authentic self, so if you ever find yourself in this position, you know what it takes to get back. So, yeah, the application took me three hours to figure out. So what I'll do too is I'll do a video step by step how to find the website, how to log in. This is for Michigan. Uh, beyond that, I really can't help you. But if you live in Michigan, I got you. All right, peace. Alrighty, so I just finished that part of my day. Um, I applied for both benefits actually, which went really well, surprisingly. Of course, SNAP, food stamps, whatever the case may be, is way quicker than unemployment. So got both of those in um, and. I'm actually gonna go ahead to get my nails done. It's been about a month. Um, that's my thing. I like to go once a month to get my nails done because I don't know. I'm just not one of those girls that will go every two weeks. I used to be, but when I get things like this, it allows it to go much longer, but my nails have been growing so fast. So these are my actual nails. Excuse me, so I'm gonna go to my favorite place called Q&N Nails. I go there all the time. I've had a lot of people service me and they do all wonderful jobs. But of course, I like two people specifically since I've been going there for so long, so. Let's go see if I can get in. Um, should be no problem. And yeah, take y'all on this journey as well. All right, so I got my refresher and of course my triple, triple purified, triple filtered. <laughs> that looks what's up. But what I got was a tall frozen strawberry lemonade refresher, I think. Dig it. I done good like a mug. Okay, y'all. So I just finished getting my nails done. Um, I don't know what's in the air, but like my nail technician was like going through his midlife crisis. <laughs> so I don't even know if I want to shout out where I go anymore because it's giving vibes. It's giving everybody just needs like a refresh, a restart okay but got my nails done i got brown and so i have to wear brown and i'm excited because brown eats black women and brown let's do it um let's do it <laughs> but i got some babel cheese y'all if you never had this try it try cheese eat cheese i love cheese i don't do much dairy but this is a dairy that i do do um, but it comes in this cute little wax wheel. It just gives bougie because I love cheese in the wax wheels. Um, so I'm going to eat this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. But you just kind of peel it open. The wax, I don't think it's edible. I've never seen anybody eat this. So I'd recommend that you don't be the first. Um, hmm. I really don't know how to explain what kind of cheese this is. But it's good. So I got some of this along with some pita chips is how I prefer to eat it just like that mm-hmm mm-hmm just like that yes yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm gonna go home clean up and get ready to go to church, so I'll see y'all in a second. You were teaching. Like the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
What's up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. So, either you know or you don't know, but it's been exactly one week since I've been laid off, and today was the first day that I actually was productive as it pertains to my future. It took the last week to just feel, do whatever, hang out, lollygag. Yeah. Um, but today I got up and I immediately went to my laptop, updated my resume, and applied to two jobs. I will tell you about all of that once I get a job. But I am documenting the journey. So as you saw yesterday, I applied for um, benefits uh, and also unemployment. So that journey, that process, I'm just wanting to be super transparent with you all along this journey. But I feel good. Like... I still am in a place where it's like, uh, it's kind of hard to believe, but also to like God is such a funny God and he's so jealous and he's jealous of us, his believers, and he's just given me so much time to just spend with him. And so that's what I've been doing as well is just getting in my word, studying and just trying to understand like, what does he require me to do right now? So of course, I'm still getting in the flow of like applying to jobs, hearing back, I'm going to see what happens. I'm not going to totally just be idle, even though I have been given the grace and time to do so. But I'm just taking a different approach on life this time around. And if something happens and shakes quicker than I expect, great. But I also am not in the habit of just not doing anything. And also the holidays are coming up. So I'm still going to be a little bit proactive. But I'm going to allow God, of course, to guide me and lead me. But without further ado, I'm going to go get some coffee. Um... And yeah, and then come back and edit some videos until church. I have rehearsal tonight. So, see you later. Peace. So with all of my efforts, Tim still ended up by my side today. This is not Tim and Heather P though. This is strictly Heather P's vlog still. And I had posted two videos on Instagram just a little while ago, opening up people to my journey. And they don't even know that I've been for the past week recording things. And so I plan to edit a lot tonight and post something on YouTube tomorrow along with another reel tomorrow. So I'm about five days ahead of those posts. And so I'm working on being consistent and transparent. Shirley Temple Chronicles. But we're gonna grab something to eat. Like I said, I have rehearsal tonight. He just came back from golfing. So I'm, we're gonna eat and then disperse from one another, but never from each other's presence. You're not preaching your earlier. Do you record it? Yeah, all the time. And he got it. Got it. and full now. I can only eat a half of it. But we are at the Kawa house and we learned a lot of great history about where the coffee is from. I told that man I was Tanzanian. told the man that we were Tanzanian. And he said that he he's been never even, he, he said he didn't even know what he continent know Africa was. Africa. <laughs> I said okay. These men, I swear. But we are here. He got the uh, um, Adani chai. He's gonna taste it with regular milk and I got the Yemeni latte with oat milk. So we're gonna wait for it to come out and yeah. Drink it really fast and then be on our way. Peace. Shorties. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> this drink it's very rich like the foam on top is very rich and it's not just milk <laughs> but yeah it's really good and look at the design it's not a tea alrighty <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> what's wrong you have to drink more. I thought this stuff was good. The foam. I always thought that had a taste. It does have it a taste. It's like mad coffee bean. <laughs> you have to taste like it again. 
Because you have to drink more. You have to get to the milk. <laughs> That's a wild. That, you're not going to be able to drink it? I actually have some. No, literally, like legit, it's really it. good. After that, I went to choir rehearsal, and that was pretty much it. It was my good sis Patria's birthday, so we sang her happy birthday the old gospel fashion way. And yeah, that's it. Good night.